the political effects, the consequences short term, have already been very effective. I mean, first and foremost, what the players have done is they've recentered the conversation around Jacob Blake and what happened to him at a time when the entire Republican Party with their convention was trying to make it into something about anarchists burning down cities and not talking about the actual cause, which is the police shot this man in the back seven times in front of his kids. That basic bottom line, the players were able to recenter the conversation on that question. Secondly, what the players did is they, they are the first people to really do it in a serious way. They've brought the question of the strike to the question of the Black Lives Matter movement. And this idea that labor can play a role by asserting itself in the fight for racial justice. And of course, there's a long tradition of labor playing a central role in the fight for racial justice, but it's a tradition that's uh, certainly been, I, I would say, separated in the decades since uh, the civil rights movement in the 1960s and 70s. So that was a, that's a huge deal. It's put the question of labor into the movement. And then lastly, I think they gave a big burst of hope uh, to people during a time where that's, that's not very hopeful. Um, that, you know, that we can fight back, that we can make change, that it's not just about violence and nihilism, but that, that it is possible to fight back with uh, the idea of dreaming for a better world. So that's the short term. The long term, I do not know whatsoever. I think, because I really do think we're operating without a compass here. Um, where this is going to go long term, I mean, certainly the players are realizing that they have leverage, the likes of which they've never realized before. They're feeling their power in ways that they've never felt before. Uh, we could see this uh, trickle in very dynamic fashion to college sports, where there's a very high level of explo exploitation of college athletes, particularly at the football and basketball level and the revenue producing sports. Um, and the genie's out of the bottle on what athletes can do. So how they're going to use that power is an open question and whether or not unions are gonna pick up the baton from them and use the ideas that they've now put into the public marketplace. But all of that is now on the table.